Mary and the Witch's Flower is a new uh, offering from Studio Ghibli. It's from the director of uh, From Up on Poppy Hill. I'm not a big fan of that one. I, I prefer the more fantastical Ghibli films, and this one delivers. I missed the first uh, 10 to 12 minutes of the film, but it didn't really... I think the review is intact. I didn't miss much. But essentially, Mary has to live with her great aunt Charlotte. She's got a big head of frizzy red hair. Another boy named Peter makes fun of her a lot. And uh, one day, uh, this cat manages to get her attention. She goes, wanders into the woods and she finds this mysterious flower. And she takes one of the stems and takes it home. And the, the next day, uh, the cat throws one of the little bulbs at her. She catches it and she starts getting this blue magic juice on her hands and it ends up giving her magical powers. So she finds a broom she, and the broom automatically takes her back to its home. Up in the sky, there is a magical land where she finds Endor College. So it's essentially a uh, college for people that need to learn magic. Um, if you think the plot is very similar to Harry Potter, you'd be correct in that sense, but the comparisons end after that. So Mary gets uh, sent on this new magical adventure where she you know, discovers all these teachers and students up in the sky, and the movie then actually pulls you for a loop. It actually has some interesting twists. I definitely like the way the movie went. It's a very straightforward fantasy adventure film, but uh, the animation's fantastic. The backgrounds, the magical sparks, the, the animals. Uh, it's a very straightforward but very enjoyable uh, Ghibli animated film. I definitely enjoyed it, and I'd probably watch it again just to catch the beginning and maybe a version with the English dub because there's some funny characters in there. So I give uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower a 7.5 out of 10.